Hello everyone, welcome to A Descent Journeys in a Dark Second Edition. This is my review of the Heirs of Blood campaign book, the very first book that's out. Uh, and finally I have it, it's about time to So uh, let's start with that, I do like the hardback cover. Uh, I think this book is going to last a little bit more longer than these, especially with uh, easily tear and wear and all that stuff. Anyway, enough about that. This is all about the Heirs of Blood book. And I, I, I really, really, really do like it. Let's zoom out a bit. There you go. Right. <clears throat> I don't know why it was uh, zoomed in a bit. Nice blue uh, pages. And that's it. Excellent. 10 out of 10. Job done. Anyway, <laughs> this, this, this has a huge... Um, interesting story with excellent artwork uh, literally uh, I'm I'm just like baffled by how big the story is and uh, then we have some uh, rules the new rules I quite like as well uh, it's talking about the plot deck there's um, the uh, three lieutenants that's in here well let's just say um, there's a possibility that one of them will go bye bye, uh, and uh, when using the plot decks, you cannot use that agent as well. Well, you could, well, you can't use that agent if that lieutenant uh, is gone. Anyway, uh, <coughs> uh, excuse me. The shopping step it is, in a nutshell, you have five shop cards doesn't matter how many players that's it five shop cards and then you got the uh, two hero campaign which i actually like the rules for ah uh, it's, it's like um uh, every um hero turn can perform one attack it's got to be just basic attack of course uh, and that's an extra to your two normal attacks and if you don't or you can't uh, that person recovered, well, that hero recovers to health. Uh, I actually like how it's worded because it actually states uh, that if the hero uh, did not or could not perform that free attack, because uh, 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 of course there'll be questions like, um, what if my hero is stunned, therefore I don't get that attack? Well, it does actually state that. Um, could not uh, perform that free attack, which is great. Nice. I've already worked out it. That bit out. Uh, the that's a nice campaign right there. Um, start from the top, and then person who picks. Then it's person who picks, and then all depends. And then got that interlude. Any, anyway, don't need to know. Blah 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 blah. A uh, nice big map there. Uh, then it's talking about uh, the areas are of the um, um, uh, the, the, the the campaign itself, or, or the quests, should I say? Yeah, they have their own little uh, story bits or little information, interesting information. I mean, wow, that's. Really, really good, and there's the Act Two ones, of course. Uh, and then uh, the uh, start. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, wow. Let's just say this, this is. <coughs> excuse me. This is absolutely amazing already. Um, not that you can tell, but let's just say uh, all the lieutenants in the main campaign is used. Uh, the um, the um, relics are also used as well. Some it's like states, um, uh, like like uh, this one, uh, for example, Rediger's quest. Um, it, it states in here. I, I don't know if I could zoom in a bit more, but it, my camera's not very good. I am tr going to work on to try and get a HD camera. When I say work on, I don't mean that I'm going to build one. I mean I'm trying to buy one. But whoever know who I, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. Ugh. Anyway, so it is it states like if the hero is carrying the staff, which is um, one of them, 
uh, then they uh, receive the stuff light otherwise the overlord gets it and then there's a little bit more extra regardless of the winner the overlord receives the shield of Zorok's favor yeah yeah the overlord can get two relics uh, or or it can just get the one while the heroes get the other uh, there's quests like like these so um, it's really interesting yeah um, happens uh, a lot uh, there, there's some big big maps uh, I don't know why I manually moved the camera away but still uh, I'm just really excited about this, this campaign book I mean yeah it doesn't have any of the um, expansion tiles that doesn't matter you just need just the main book and then, yeah, yeah, a bit, bit more of the stories, like, that uh, happens if the uh, heroes uh, win the interlude. That's the story uh, if the uh, Overlord wins the interlude. It's a huge story-based campaign. Absolutely, really well fought. Literally. Um, here's some other uh, new bits as well that... I would like to show uh, it's part of an act two part uh, which I actually saw I want to say actually I I mean I did see ah here it is this is an act two quest called uh, dead or drowning and it states zombies act one <laughs> uh, there's a reason for that but I'm not going to go into that kind of detail. Let's just say that that's really, really interesting already. It's like, why is there Act 1 zombies in an Act 2 quest? Apart from that, zombies are really bad. But still, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Really, really, really good. Uh, and of course, the pharaohs are the main enemies. Uh, more so with uh, Eliza, she is the main main enemy, but of course the other two pharaohs are also the enemies as well. Uh, finale, yeah. And of course the back of the book, can't go wrong with the back of the book, the back of the book is absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10, well done. So, that that is really a good look through of um, the Heirs of Blood campaign book with many different things. The only bad thing that I can say about this book is that I think it just came out a bit too late. If it would came out practically like, almost straight away, that that would have been great because having like two campaigns, uh, two, two different campaigns, sorry, uh, just using the basic would have been absolutely amazing and then um, the expa expansions come out and people will get even more excited of like what's the next like, campaign book but of course that, that that's the only only uh, thing that uh, I could think that's wrong with this uh, but that that's just my um, insight anyway <gasps> I can safely say that I actually, well, I've already said that I'm very interested in this book. I, I do like it a lot. Uh, I am looking forward to the other campaign booklets, which would contain stuff from the expansions. If I could guess, which could be a very good guess, that I think the next book will probably be based on one or two of the um, mini expansions as in Layer of the Worm and Troll Fins. I probably would uh, bet that they will probably put the, the bo both of them together uh, and then it's like the finale will be you get to pick of uh, which one you fight first would you uh, fight Bolgaroff or um, Valandra 
Uh, and then uh, the, 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 then the next part of the finale is that uh, whoever you didn't uh, defeat, uh, then uh, the other one gets even more stronger. Uh, however, if the Overlord w uh, won that, then um, uh, the other one didn't get stronger. And then you get to have both of them in. Th that's that's uh, as a guess. Uh, but still, um, I am looking forward to the next campaign book. But of course, I'm looking forward to the others. Like I said, this is really, really well thought. A lot more storytelling. Uh, e even the new bits that's in there is like, um, yeah, sure. Uh, if you go for this quest, then of course the Overlord will automatically get this no matter what kind of the Road of Relics style thing or it's even like the use Act 1 zombies in an Act 2 quest I mean wow there's a, there's actually a few other little bits in there but I'm not going to go straight into too much details of all the quests anyway um, rating I would call this um, uh, oh it's a difficult one I'm not going to put it as a 9 I'm going to uh, I'm I'm thinking eight and a half. I would like to give it a nine. However, I just just think um, maybe if they could have uh, put in like uh, different lieutenants in. Uh, well, when I say different, I mean like the same ones, but slightly different to the ones that we have now. Uh, then that could have been e even more interesting like oh new lieutenants even though that they're not new but they're the same kind of thing I don't know uh, well either way can't win them all eight and a half definitely mm, yeah it was gonna be a nine but I thought no nah, nah, let's put it as a eight and a half anyway thank you very much and that's it bye